Hi, I'm Ron Stewart from RCRT Radio. Of course, you already know that, right? More importantly, today is another English break where we're touring all over Taiwan for various, very interesting industries. Today is no exception. It's all about exercise, and you know how much I love exercising. Ah! Don't let me scare you. You're going to love today. We're going to talk to some experts about exercising and how you become a superstar athlete. The psychology, all the things that are involved in making an athlete a super performing athlete. We're going to talk about all of that today. You're going to love this episode. More coming up. Continuing here at the Exports Performance Center. As you know, they're finding out more about everything there is to know about sports science. It's time to ra let's bring in James. James. Hi, Hi James. Hi, Ray. Hi, I'm ready. Hey. James, you know so much about this. I want to ask you sports science. Give me the four main key services. Uh, our export training center uh, dedicated to sports science, education, and uh, research and innovation and uh, developing elite athlete training. We use a lot of the uh, high technology and the equipment servers and support the uh, coach and the athlete. So, you, know, you know, psychology, physiology, uh -huh. biometrics, motor control, learning. It's just a lot of stuff. The study must go on a long time before we can even begin to apply that. Actually, uh, we do some different kind of the laboratory. Mm. We usually can easy and community for service uh, athlete. We want to mention a real life situation mm. for the athlete do the uh, for the athlete and coach do the testing. Yeah, we not just do testing. We also think that these are really training. Yeah, mm. yeah. Also, James, how does equipment help? How does equipment help athletes training? We step one to analyze uh, We know the, the major baseball from the board to the athlete. We organize the uh, testing to the training. Mm -hmm. So it's our professional service for our center. Yeah. It's our center uh, performance training center. It's only for athlete. That's Come me. Come with me. Let's do this. Yeah. First off, we do the knee high, lift and right. Are you okay? Pets, pets, pets. So this testing, we call in the vision movement, coordinate, coordination. He do first and your second, okay? Go. Yep. Oh, which of the light? Yeah. Go! Right. Go, go, go! I've never done this before. Go, go. Quick, quick, quick! Start! <laughs> oh! E! Okay, down! Ready, go! Yeah, move! I'm way back! What? I'm way back! Hold it! Hold it! Hurry up, hurry up! Go, ready! Go! Come on! Come on! Come on! Are you okay? I'm cheating! I'm cheating! Oh, triple one! No. Come on! Three, two, one! Okay, now. Okay. okay. Freeze frame! Okay. Are you here? You know, I'm coming back. Today was a bad day. Three, two, one, go! So easy. Yeah, <laughs> so easy. Yeah. <laughs> Go. Then do forward. Three, two, one, go. Yep. Jump. Okay. Hold on. It is really a uh, situation, not just only you jump high. Most important uh, how fast you move it. Mo mm. Movement is the most important for the entity. We can real time show the list of data for the entity. We not just uh, measure the exercise uh, comp capacity. Also, most important, this data can do the training monetary. We know the increase or decrease. We can uh, base uh, this result, uh, show the testing result for the uh, coach weak or strength. That's mm. the most important. So this is the power position. Okay. Power 
Wow. Now over the 2000. Give me one week. I'll yeah. kick ass. Give you. <laughs> You can see the motorcycle, right? Yep. So you can, uh, you know, your phone is slowly go upward, slowly go upward, oh. and then the left one and the right one, you can see um, that's different. Yep. So maybe you can produce force faster, and oh. another one is yep. slower. Yeah. Uh, so maybe you can go this way fast, but that way slower. slower. Yeah. yeah. It's most important in for is uh, we call it a strain uh, asymmetry. Uh, if you wow. weak leg, maybe it's a high increase the uh, uh, rest mm. for the injury. It's yeah. most important. Yeah. yeah. I could help uh, you know, today if there is. I, I enjoy the experience today. <laughs> I, I, I'm shocked at my numbers. It needs a lot of work, but you know, okay. yeah. Good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we continue with our questioning at NTPU and now we find out another super athlete. What is your name? My name is Marcus. Marcus. Yeah. Hi, Marcus. Marcus, I need to ask you first contact with sports technology? I used to be a um, trainer for normal people. I train more and more people. I think I need to have a um, system to train athletes. You need to have much more weapons to train them. And you need to have the, these technologies to make, um, not time consuming, but you need to have much more um, better training for them because maybe you only have two months to to prepare the sports right so uh, you need to be much clever and most much train much more smarter yeah again we're here with professor shang ziren and uh, he's going to give us some pointers on because as you know exercise has a very positive uh, impact on the human being uh let's all kinds of things go in your brain and that type of thing so we're going to ask physiological and psychological health you know because you can find 去协助运动员，去增加他的表现。那主要是靠一些科技去了解运动员的一些动作，还有包含他的生理和心理的状态。那透过这些科技，我们可以让选手们可以去呃知道自己的缺点，然后怎么去预防受伤，然后增加他的
，有打击的数据测验，然后也有垂直跳的追踪，然后年度的起伏数据。不管是练习中还是比赛中，都会去用这些运动的科技去追踪我们的，不管是动作啊，然后有影像，让我们可以知道说，哎，我们在比赛中跟练习中的差别。What what technology do you use? 呃，这个科技是叫 Initial Movement Unit， 可以知道就是你自己的挥臂速度，还有自己的弹跳高度，就是你可以知道你的弹跳高度有没有进步这样。五六五。You use sports technology in what way? What do you do? What do you use? 就像我们现在穿小背心，然后这个 sensor 它可以追踪我们的场上跑动，对，嗯、然后可以就是有一些参数可以让我们知道说。What are your experiences? Has it helped? Uh, I think is can from the numbers, and then can know how the sensor is performing. Because when we compete and practice, we use this sensor. Then we can bring it together and know how the body is performing and how the weight is performing. Now we have talked to a basketball player, and now let's talk to the Jiaolian, the coach. Now we have talked to a basketball player, and now let's talk to the Jiaolian, the coach. Do you believe in sports technology? Is it okay for you? Uh, yes, I believe because I believe the sport technology can help me my training going again. Yes, I think that is a good thing. Mm. Yeah. Do you have a, a special teaching method that you like to use? Any, anything teaching methods uh, compared to like what you did a long time ago? Oh, I think so. It's a system and uh, by the some special data. Uh, list the data uh, such as the uh, lines of the physical loading oh. and uh, running the distance and uh, uh, separation and uh, deep separation and uh, play the change duration uh, times oh. uh, something like the special data based on the data I can to adjust my training time mm. in a game let me know what time to call the tie up switch the player maybe something like that mm. yeah we're still at NTU and talking to one of the most, I mean, this is going to be one of the most prestigious professors here is. He is Professor Hong Tong Min. As you know, mental toughness is very important for an athlete to achieve his best and biggest success. Everything here has got to be right. Professor, what are some of the things that are involved in that? So, the mental toughness is the mental toughness that means that if you are in a situation where 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 you are in a situation 我继续的朝他的目标前进啊，那所以运动员的表现上面，我们会有一些方法啊，特别是我们常常叫做心理技能训练啊，这个 psychological skill training 这样的一个方法呢，帮助这个运动员提升他的这个心理韧性。我过去呢，我们在帮助我们的亚运跟奥运的选手，比如说他们要学习这个能够去设定他的目标，好，这个 goal setting， 好，那有 goal setting 之后呢，我们就教他怎么样去。去学习呢，怎么样去透过比较正向的这个 self talk， 然后能够透过 image training 好这个意向训练，他每天的这个训练当中呢，能够获得很多很多的这个成就感跟成功经验，来建构他的信心。What do you see the evolution of sports science？ 啊，台湾的运动科学大概啊，真正有用在运动场上，嗯，是差不多在差不多二十五年前。那时候我们在这个一九九八年的这个曼谷亚运开始，好，那那我们的国训中心开始呢，这个组织这个运动科学团队。那这个团队主要是啊，由一些大学教授来组成。这些大学教授呢，把这个运动科学的这些概念跟方法呢，把它介绍给我们的运动员。所以开始我们有这个全职的运动科学的的这些专业人员在国家训练中心帮助我们的这个国手进行训练。那现在我们有一些。一些 professional sports、professional athlete， 对，他们哦，他们也是一样，会自己花钱来请这些 sports scientist 来帮助他们提升他们的这个运动的这个训练绩效。You know, we we 呃、uh, ，we have some kind of uh experiment, so I I will be interested to experience this kind of experiment that we use brain wave for you to. To detect your brain wave while you're doing a golf putting, and you have to try. I I I want to have. You know, I I I I have never had such a kind of test. I'm almost afraid of what the professor is going to find, but I got to do this. Okay. Yeah, we we of course we will find if you have a brain wave or not. We are now trying to make him hold his skin. Hold his skin. Because the skin on the face will have some hold his skin. It will uh, just let the signal be received more quickly. Okay. Put the device for you. 
first to detect your brainwave. Right. And we will have select one of your key uh, brainwave mm. that have been found very, very relevant to performance, okay. especially for golf party. Okay. So this, this specific component we call it SMR. Sensory motor region. Mm. Okay, SMR. So this is located in the, in the sensor. Of the right, right, right. Oh, that's why you put the electrode here. Here. Oh, yeah. Okay. So this 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 is the signal coming from your motor cortex. Oh. Okay. And then reflect how your how your motor cortex and your sensory sensory center how they they, they, they interface oh. to each other. And, and, you, and you can and make a, a conclusion from that. Yes. And we from there we, we know that you know for a person who want to perform well they have to increase their. SMR. Oh. And so we set a, we set a criteria for you to to increase it. Yeah. Once you have meet this threshold, right, right. you will see a, a face of smile. So so your task is to maintain yeah. you know, your SMR yeah. to a level that above the threshold. Right. Yeah, so right. you can you can keep the smile face oh. as long as possible. Ah. Okay. 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 Oh, oh so it's, wow. it's closer than, than you know, compared to, to the practice session. Yes. Now, you have a little, a little, still a little bias to our left. So you, have to, you, you change a little bit of the face, the face of the, of the pattern. Ah, uh, oh. Yeah, the face of the pattern. Ah, that, here. Okay. Almost, uh, almost, almost. Let's have a young lady and Joe. 他的現在的角度已經差不多了。Bingo, bingo. Bingo. You can concentrate your, 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 your mind, sure, okay. so you, you hear the, the, the tone, that yes. means that you are, you are keeping the smile okay. face. Right. You see that? I do. Yeah. yeah, yeah I, I see, I'm watching him smile, I love yeah. it. Yeah, so you can, you can, you can combine the, 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 the smile face and also the tone. <laughs> the tone, the tone, oh, the, the, the tone is, oh, the beep, 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 it's steady. I see what you mean. No. Because, because I'm very satisfied with making the shot. Yeah. So, so this is the way how we train, how we train, you know, golfer, shooter, archer, and even a sniper. Yeah. How to maintain their, their, you know, their concentration. So we provide this kind of devices mm. to let them know that okay, now you are in a state of concentration, mm. so you can, you can, you can go ahead to do the, to, to do the work oh. and let, let, let help them. If we've learned anything today, we have learned how sports medicine has changed the entire dynamic of the entire sports world and what's going to take place in the future and has already taken place for that matter. And also the risk of injury and everything else that has, that's in danger in your life, it has reduced dramatically by just getting into sports activities. Even if it's on a leisure basis, you gotta do it. Oh, and also, you get a more understanding of what's going on with sports medicine. It's such a vast field. You'll have to study a lot, but it'll be well worth it. I'm telling you right now, I have had a great time just learning about some of the things that go into sports science. Oh, and let me quickly thank NDC, National Development Council, for their 2030 bilingual policy. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I, I get my friends right now. Hey, 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 Liddy, Gene, 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 we're going to work out right now. Ah.